Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, I think you'll enjoy this video. I, when well, I was in law school, started reading all of Trump's books. The Art of the Deal was the first one, Art of the Comeback. I've read every one of his books. And the book that I liked the most was The Art of the Comeback. And it's got some great stories in there where he was a billion dollars upside down on his financial statement and how he negotiated with the banks to save himself. Then I became a fan of the show, the celebrity show. I liked it. I enjoyed watching it. And then I was with him from the minute he came down the escalator. And I got to be his Northern Kentucky chairman in 2016, got to meet him in Louisville at a rally. And then we all got pushed aside by McConnell and company and Bevin and all them because we were pipsqueaks and they were all the political apparatus in the state. So that was that. I still supported him in 2020. Pound, 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 pound Hillary Clinton. I didn't abandon Trump at all during the grabbing baloney from the uh, uh, January 6th events. Never abandoned Trump once. I then, uh, Got to go to Mar-a-Lago and meeting. Uh, wrote a big check for that. Then I got to go to the Kentucky Derby. I had to write a big check for that. I mingled with him. And if you go back all the way to the beginning, all the way through, you know what I said about Trump all the time? I love his policies. I love his presidency. I actually feel sorry for him how he was treated. Um, that's what I discussed with him in Mar-a-Lago. Um, I want him to run again. And I, I, I think he's, he's got this movement. But what else did I say? He's not my kind of guy personally at all. He is into money, 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 gold toilets, the billionaire lifestyle, Mar-a-Lago, the country club thing, all of that. None of that is me. None of that is me. Zero. Okay? Now, I'm a millionaire. I ain't a billionaire. It was funny. I was, uh, I got great self-deprecating humor. Um, I was joking with all the people I was with in Derby that I was the only one there about a private jet. Now, I want you to know that all of my best friends are ordinary people. And all my wealthy friends are very ordinary people. That's who I'm attracted to. The other thing that cracks me up is I, can, I relate to Trump because of his mistreatment by the media and the apparatus. My mistreatment by the KBA, the Ohio Disciplinary Council, and all of my enemies, which is going to be detailed in this upcoming book, The Butcher of Pakistan, is unbelievable. So I have this simpatico with Trump about being mistreated. They try to define you of what you are and they try to destroy you. So I connect to that. They try to destroy Trump. They try to destroy me. We're both left standing. I've had lots of people tell me, tell me that I remind them of Trump. And I always joke. I said, yeah, Trump, that's not a billionaire. But my personality is such that I care about people and I will endorse campaigns based on what I believe in, not whether they win or not, not whether how much money they give. And I think Trump has lost his way on this endorsement process. I really do. Um, I have disagreed with Trump in the past. I disagreed with his last minute Bevin thing because what Bevin did. Now, I've publicly admitted that that was a mistake on my part because Bevin would have been a hell of a lot better, would he not have, than old Bashir. But by the way, I didn't elect Bashir. I was a last minute, yeah, screw Bevin. It, it, like the last week, I had nothing to do with Bevin's uh, defeat. But ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, I want to explain my Trump relationship. Now, do I want his endorsement? Sure. Will I get the endorsement? I don't know. I invite him to Freedom Fest? I don't know. Corey Lewandowski thinks I can get his endorsement. Um, I don't know. 
But you know what? I really don't care. In other words, I want it, but my campaign's not going to be about that. I am different than Trump. Agree with all those policies, but as an individual, a human being, what's important to me, how I treat people, is totally different than Trump. Totally different. And during the course of the campaign, I'm looking forward to sharing some of those anecdotal differences. For example, right now, I'm doing something that I know Trump wouldn't do on the business side of things. And uh, I'm going to tell you about it after it's all over with. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. I hope today is yours.